Uh, okay, we've got two totally different eyebrows going on. Think you want to make them the same shade? Hmm? Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So I literally ran out of my boyfriend's house this morning because <laughs> I knew this palette from ColourPop was being delivered from Ulta today. This is the Yes Please palette. Oh my goodness, I am so in love with this palette. There's so many different eyeshadow palettes that are coming out right now that I just feel like, haven't I seen you before 5,000 times before? Or aren't you everything that's in my Jaclyn Hill palette? Um, but this, this totally caught my eye because these shadows, I've just been all about the oranges and the yellows and the pinks lately. I've never tried anything from ColourPop, so this is my first time. And this is a cruelty-free brand, which obviously I love. So we are going to walk through the application. It's what I have on my eyeballs now, and we'll see how it wears throughout the day. But let's go ahead and swatch this sucker. Okay, so starting with this row, this is Bling, this is GNO, and this is French Kiss. Pretty. Ooh. And then next we have Champs, Spoiled, and Chauffeur. And I love how they have the names of the colors on the back of the box as well. Also beautiful. Oh my gosh, look at that pigment. Ooh! So we have Big Cocktails, Butter Cake, and Note to Self. That orange, oh my gosh, that is totally what sold me in the store. Mm -hmm. Love that. The final row, we have Full Zip. We have Full Zip Louie, and this last one is Mischief. There you go, there are all the colors. Oh my God, I literally cannot tell you the level of excitement and joy and happiness I feel right now. So much so that I left my boyfriend's house. I'm blowing bubbles. I left my boyfriend's house early this morning. <laughs> He's like, where are you going? I said, I have things to do. Uh, what I had to do was <laughs> <laughs> play with this palette. Okay, so what do I want to do? What do I want to do? I think for, all right, so for the transition shade, I'm going to use this color here, which is Big Cocktails. I thought that said something else. <laughs> Let's just dip right in. I'm like giddy right now. I brought you in closer, closer to you so you could actually see what I'm doing. Let's do this. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Oh, what is it about new makeup that is so satisfying? Leave me a comment below if you know exactly what I'm talking about. Like, uh, I'd rather see you later, boyfriend, and come home to you, eyeshadow palette, and play with you for a little while. You! Yeah. Just depositing really nicely into a ye old eye socket. Very nice, beautiful transition color. Oh, I love these peaches. Um, and before I forget, too, I did prime my eyes with the Morphe eyeshadow base primer and I also dusted that off and set it with a little bit of the cover FX translucent setting powder and that was just my usual it cosmetics uh, blending brush that I did that with okay so next to build up to deepen the crease a little bit I'm going to use this color here which is champs and and blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna use it on my Mac 217 which just got a fluff dry because I forgot to wash it <laughs> That's night, and I didn't want to have anything. Oh boy, oh, oh. Okay, so we have a little bit of fallout there. Whoa, whoa. Mm, a lot of it. Oh my gosh, this color. Oh, yes. So what I like to do is just tight, like literally keeping my eye open and just going back and forth and doing small circular motions. So it's almost like windshield wiper, circular motion. On the outer edge of my crease once I have most of that color deposited then I like to very very lightly start bringing it over almost not quite to the inner corner like midway and just going back into that first shade big cocktails to blend it out these are also blending really nicely do I want to deepen the outer crease with this let me see something Mm. 
Yeah, let's go for it. Mmm, I'm loving it. Just to kind of soften what I'm doing so far, let's go into this super light color. That's the shade Bling. And I'm just kind of lightly hitting those edges. I'm bringing you in even closer because that's the type of relationship we have now. Um, so let's see, where did I even put my palette? Here it is. All right, so what do we wanna do? I wanna hit this with a little bit of setting spray to see what we got. Just the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Oh, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. So that was the shade Note to Self, that beautiful orange. Now I'm gonna hit this yellow. This is French Kiss. I want just like a fiery, I want fire. There we go. Oh gosh, that's pretty. And in the inner corner, I'm just gonna go into this shade here. Whoop! This is bling again. And you know, sometimes you just gotta go in with the fingers to blend it all out. You could pick a picker that works. Okay, just for the hell of it, let's like cover everything with a very, very light finger applied layer of this gold shade here. This is spoiled. I just wanna see like what, oh, that's pretty. Oh, yes. I wanna see what will happen if I do that. Cause I kinda would like to marry all these colors together. And oftentimes, oh, oh, whoa, oftentimes, Oh my gosh, that's what I'll do Woo! to achieve that. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. Okay, so here's what I ended up with. I probably should have shown you that. So I wanted fire and that's what I got. Mmm, me likey. I'm gonna go ahead and put liner lashes on, finish the rest of my face and come back and we will chat. So I just realized that I forgot to film my last clip and it is now 10 o'clock at night and 10 hours have gone by and I figured, well, might as well just wrap it up and talk about this ColourPop eyeshadow. So I forgot to mention in the beginning of this video that this palette is $16. So $16 after 12 hours of wear time, this is what we are left with. I mean, it did not crease, it did not fade. It did nothing it wasn't supposed to. I mean, look at the pigmentation on this. It is insane. I wanted to come down under my studio lights to show you just how pigmented this eyeshadow is. The blendability was there, you know, it didn't do anything weird. It just held beautifully throughout the day. So I am loving this Yes Please palette from ColourPop. So if you have tried any of their shadows or palettes, Leave me a comment below and let me know what I should get my mitts on next because I'm super curious about trying more from this brand. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.